All right. So this assignment will be to create a uh, program that tells a knock-knock joke. So much like we did before, I need you to go to the Create tab in Scratch. Hopefully you like my initial knock-knock joke. I can verbalize it later, although I'm going to redo it here now in a bit. So I start out with my standard page in Scratch. I am going to F11 to make my page a little bigger. So if that's a little weird to you, then you'll know what I did. So I got it. I like to clear my stuff before I get going. So I'm going to kill this sprite guy here. Uh, you can bring the cat back if you want. I'm going to call this one Knock Knock. I'm going to call it Knock Knock Joke. How's that? And then I'm going to save. And you should do the same thing. It makes it easier if you save that right up front. So in my Knock Knock Joke, ah, you already saw my Knock Knock Joke, but I'm going to recreate it. First thing I'm going to do is I don't like to work on blank white screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is make myself a backdrop. So I'm going to go over here to the stage side backdrops, and I'm going to get me a backdrop that's the beach. Well, it happened to be right there. This is beach in Malibu versus – I can do beach in Rio. It doesn't matter. I'll do beach in Rio for this one since I did beach in Malibu for the other. Now I got a beach. That's great. Now I need some sprites. So I'm going to go get me a sprite. Uh, I wanted the toucan. So there's the toucan. And you'll notice that he has a couple of things on him. So there's my toucan. And I'm going to get myself another sprite. And this sprite, I just scrolled down a little bit till I got this cute little dude. And he said Gobo. And he was kind of cute. You'll see if I hold over, it'll show you the different costumes that Gobo can wear. So every time you see a different motion, that means it's a costume. So there's Gobo. So Gobo is going to be my second sprite. Now, when I put them up here, I'm going to move them around the beach so they look good. But right now, the toucan's looking away, and I don't like that. So remember what we can do? We can do some stuff left and right. We can align using the X and Y grids of our toucans. We can, show, uh, we can change size. We can also do direction. If you click direction, there's some other things you can do. One, I can make his direction so the toucan is looking around like that. Well, but that's not really what I want. There's another one right here in the middle. If I press left and right, then when I press this, he'll turn and face the other way. So now he's facing Gobo. I'm much happier. My toucan is facing my Gobo. That just makes me much happier. Now I can tell my joke. So remember, the important thing here is the code is attached to the sprite. So we're going to do some coding, but we're going to have to go back and forth between the two sprites. So we're going to begin. I'm going to give the toucan a name. We're going to call him Elfio Toucan. Yes, I can spell it any way I want. That's him. And Gobo, he's already a Gobo, so we'll just leave him alone. So Ralphio the Toucan. So I want to make sure I've clicked on Ralphio. I can see him here. He's in the code. I'm going to do my first event is going to be when the green flag is clicked. Um, now, as we get going, I'm going to have a bunch of different uh, events in here when we're done. In fact, Ralphio will have, I think, three, and Gobo will have two. So the first thing is, is when he's clicked. So when he's clicked, I want him to say, knock, knock. So I'm going to go to looks, and he's going to say, knock, knock. And, and he's going to say that for, um, um, I think I pressed him at three seconds. Knock, knock. And he's going to say that for three seconds. So I'm going to change it from two to three seconds. When he's done, he's going to do something different. Now, I've got to tell Gobo that the toucan is done with his part. To do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here to a control. And I've got, sorry, I'm going to go here to event. I'm all backwards. And I've got to broadcast a message. Now, broadcasting a message is a fancy way to send out a phrase. So I'm going to make this message. I'm going to call. I'm, I'm going to click where it says message one. Don't use message one, message two, message three, message four. I will take points off for that. I'm going to create a new message. I'm going to call it knock knock since that's what you just finished doing, right? So right now, my program, when I click it, 
In fact, I can click it here. He says, knock, knock for three seconds. And then he broadcasts this message called knock, knock. I'm going to save. But nothing out there is, the message is sent out. The program says knock, knock. But nothing's there. So now I'm going to press on Gobo. So when I get to Gobo, I'm going to go back here to, again, my events. And it's when I receive. And it already has knock, knock there. So there's my choices. When I receive knock, knock, then Gobo can say, who's there? So he's going to say, oops, principal who's, who's there? And he's going to say that for three seconds. You can put more, you can put less. If you have too much less, it takes people, it takes them off. So he's going to say, who's there? And then we're going to need to broadcast another message to say he's done and the next part can come in. So I'm going to go back here to events. I'm going to say broadcast a message, but I don't want to broadcast knock, knock because I've already used that message. Each message needs to be unique. If I wanted to call them one, two, three, four, five, I could do that. I'm going to broadcast a new message and I'm going to call it who's there. So that's his. Let's go ahead and save our program and see what's going on right now. I like to see it as we go. Toucan says, knock, knock. Gobo says, who there? Because it got the message. Gobo's character received the message saying the knock, knock was ready. So let's go back to Ralphio. So Ralphio, here I've programmed this. The next thing I'm doing is when I receive, and this is not connected to the other other coding. They're not connected. This is a whole nother code. I can stick it out here. In fact, I will. So when Ralphio receives, who's there? Be careful. If you suddenly notice that Ralphio says knock, knock, and then both of them say something at once, it means you reused the same message code. So when he receives who's there, Ralphio's is going to say Hawaii. He's going to say that for three seconds to give you a chance to read it. And he's going to, again, broadcast a message. So back to my events, he's going to broadcast a new message. And I'm going to call this one Hawaii. Oops, if I type it in right. Hawaii. So he's done. Now I'm going to go back to Gobo. And Gobo, we're going to put it again. When Gobo receives the message, he's going to when he receives a message, and the message he receives is Hawaii, he's going to say, over here, he's going to say, Hawaii who? And I'm going to have that said for three seconds. And then I'm going to broadcast again another event. I'm going to broadcast a message, new message, Hawaii who. So I've got through it, and I'm going to hit go ahead and save it because I've done a little work. And I'm going to press the green button and watch as it goes. Knock, knock. Goba says, who's there? Ralphio says, Hawaii. Gobo says, Hawaii who? All I got to do is finish the punchline, right? So now I got another one. Remember I said this would be my third set. So when he receives Hawaii who, he's going to say, I'm fine. Hawaii you. For three seconds. And I don't have to broadcast anything at this point because my my program is done. So let me hit save. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually go bigger screen so you can see it fully. And I'm gonna press the green flag. Knock knock. Who's there? 
Hawaii. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? That worked perfectly. And another dad joke gets out there. So I've saved it. I've called it Knock Knock. Last thing you guys need to do is make sure you hit share. Huh. A dad style. Remember, you got to put your info in here. Knock. Knock joke. Just press the green flag. Notes and credits. So you, this was just to make a lesson on using events. Again, at that point, you press copy link. You copy your link, and that's what you paste into the answer to the question, and you get the good grade. I hope you have fun with that one. Uh, I can't wait to see some of your knock-knock jokes, good, bad, and otherwise. Be creative. Share with each other. Uh, as I put these in, in the questions there, you'll get to see other people's things. So by all means, go in and look at their stuff. Have a good day.